At this time, I'd like to bring Joel to the front, please. Could you come to the front, please? Amen. And while Joel comes to the front, I'm also, I'm also asking the uh, dear captain if you can come to the front as well. And by all means, bring your assistant, Jeremiah, as well, because I think that's the take part of because this is all about the mission, you see. And, and one, one thing we'll discover about the mission in Acts is you never do the mission of Acts on your own. You're always with good people. So here's my friend Joel. You're still my friend, yeah? Even though I've called you out to the front. Good time. So, so this is my friend Joel. Um, Joel loves Jesus. I know that Joel loves Jesus. I know that. I know that. And how I know that is that he gives me the impression that he loves Jesus. Yes. But how I also know that is that I'll have communications with Joel. And Joel can tell me anything that he wants. He can tell me anything. So he can talk about things that he enjoys, like football games or video games or what he's talking about with his friends. But I asked, I asked Joel, what would he like me to pray for? Anything that he wants. And he could have asked to pray for his exams, and he still needs help with his exams. But, but for the benefit of this exercise, dear Joel, please share with the saints what you asked me to pray for when I asked you if I could pray for you for anything. So basically, there was this guy in the school uh, who was atheist and so I was like trying to like, get him to know Jesus like more and so I uh, told him about my religion and how like I go to church and what I do and I told him to like pray we have like a Bible uh, and then he said he's going to do some research uh, and then to see what religion is for and then I got home and then I asked us what we could pray for and then I told him everything about what happened. So then. Hallelujah! And that is to say, if I can correct you, that is to say that um, Joel was interested in his friend finding out about Jesus for himself. So when he talks about searches, we want Joel's friend to have an encounter with Jesus Amen. for himself. So, so we can pray for that in our own time, but what particularly just touched my heart is about Joel wanting that for his friend. Uh, Joel sounded like he was a man on a mission. Amen. Uh, he sounded like he was a man on a mission, not for his own name's sake, That's but for right. the name's sake of Jesus. Amen. Um, it, it almost sounded like, it, like he was doing some, um, evangelism. some evangelism. Yeah, yes, evangelism. And so when I thought about somebody who's very good at, about evangelism, I thought about people, I who do I know? Who do I know that knows evangelism? <laughs> Elijah, Elijah. <laughs> because mission isn't done on your own. Mission is done in a team. God has gifted and equipped certain people to do work in certain aspects of the ministry. I'm particularly concerned that Joel will take this challenge on and will really help his friend to see what it is to know and to grow and to learn Jesus. But I appreciate that he needs to do that himself. And he needs to see that himself. He needs to see that himself, and I know that he sees that already in his mum, so we don't have an issue there. But I know that he needs to see that in the examples of men around him who will show him what it is to be a man of God. I know that I'm called to be one of those men around him. I know that Pastor Daniel is called to be one of those men around him. And but at this time, I'm asking you to join in Kelvin in praying for Joel, so that Joel will be an Ananias for his friend. Yeah. 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 Man. To give him a mission and a message from God as to how he should operate. And I want some of us to dedicate our souls in fasting for one day this week and put this guy in our prayers and our fasting. Amen. Dear evangelist, if you can pray for my brother. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just want to thank you. Father God, we want to praise your holy name. Lord, the Bible talks about you going to and from looking for people, for vessels that you can bless Father God Almighty. And Lord, you are working, you are doing your work through people. Lord, we are learning about your mission. Your mission has not changed. What you came here to do, Father God, the Bible says you came to seek and find the lost. That mission still stands. And you are working through men and women of God to fill that mission. And Father God Almighty, you have chosen one among us. Yes, Lord. Joel, you have given him your spirit, Father God. Amen. And he has taken it up 
you know, in humility. Because it takes humility yes, to do what you have called us to yes, do. Yes, For him to be able to even just approach his friend mm. and talk to his friend, that takes great humility. Yes, Lord. Father God, as your son has humbled himself, I pray for the anointing. Yes, Lord. Yes, I pray Lord. for the power to be upon him, Father God. Yes, Lord. I bless him, Father God, oh my. With your spirit, Father God. Yes, Father. As he goes about to do the work of an evangelist. Amen. Lord, I am confident Amen. that he is not alone. Jesus. Your presence will always be with him, Father God. Your power will always be with him, yes, Father God. Yes, your word will always be with him, yes, Father God. Because you, you commanded us to go into the world, make disciples, baptize them in the name of the Father and in the Holy Ghost. And Lord, you are with us always. So as Joel steps up, Father God Almighty, I pray, Father God, that you always remember that it's not alone. Your presence will always with me. Your word will always with me. Your power will always be with me. The power to heal the sick. The power to deliver the lost. The power to open the blind of the, the, the eyes of the blind. The power to cause the lame to walk. Hallelujah. Because the spirit of the Lord is it's upon him. Yes. You have anointed him, Father God of my You have anointed him to preach the good news. To release the captive free. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you that we will, ne- we will witness great yes. miracles yes. Yes, through Lord. this man of God. Yes, Lord. And thank you, Father God. For the spirit, for the gift of evangelism that is upon him, Father God. Lord, we thank you. Give you glory. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.